Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your late January 2019 general reading. Uh, Leo, it's a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with each and every person who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe, definitely comment below. Click that like button if you do like the video. Um, it just seems like right now, we'll jump right into it. Um, we'll save the announcements to the end. Some of you are dealing with um, feeling like you're not on the right path. Feeling like there's discontentment, boredom in a situation. Something that you've created. Something that has a foundation. Something that you may have built up over time. This could be relationship, job, uh, friendship, whatever. You, you, um, you know assess it to your life or whatever um some of you are in a place of really thinking about partnership um the person you're with there may have been problems may have been drama there may be discontentment um you may be thinking about moving forward uh, you may have a family with this person, live with this person, I don't know. There's something in regards to you assessing and re-evaluating. Someone feels as if they're, maybe they're not on the right path yet. All camera shuffling the cards, the star card to come out twice in two separate decks. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius person or just feeling like either you're not on the right path or the cards are trying to indicate to you that within changing a dynamic in your life you'll be on the right path because the page of wands uh, came out twice this is um, messages of abrupt change those ideas those thoughts those conversations you have about change some of you are just trying to need to have the strength to move something forward this could be work school um, something in the home uh, someone's discontent, dissatisfied with you, or vice versa. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the reading. Let's see if I see anything else. Okay, so diet, dietary change. You might need to change your diet. Some of you. You don't really want to subscribe to that. You know, you want to, you like to eat what you want to eat. You, whatever you, your intake is, you, you like it. It's what you want. But some health related issues may say that you need, you need to change your diet. You need to be a little bit more conscious about what you eat or not, or are not eating. Hmm. Children play a part in this, but they're kind of taking a back burner here. This is more so um, you're all in your feelings about something or, or someone. And it's just about evaluating and assessing those feelings and then making the necessary action. Okay, so let's see where we are. Come on. Okay, and we're back. So let's get the cards going. Wow, these flipped out. Okay, so two cards for love. The world, Queen of Air. Let's get one more card for love. That's what we have for love. This one to come out to. Queen of Earth, Queen of Air. Okay, off the bat, it feels like Leo isn't talking to someone. Something has shifted, changed. The, Leo feels like there's a cycle that closed. Maybe with a fixed sign, Leo, like yourself, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Now, this can read either way. Either Leo, something's changed within that dynamic. A, 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 a cycle has gone as far as it can go. Now, you guys can open the door back up and, you know, 
go on with that or you can allow it to remain closed uh, some of you want to communicate about maybe making things stable official or someone wanting to put in work this is just the page of earth some of you may even give gifts or receive gifts um Some of you feel like the Queen of Air, King of Queen, and the Queen of Earth. Some of you Leo men may have two women in your life. Um, some of you feel as if this cycle has ended with in a dynamic within a marriage, a long term situation. And your stability is elsewhere with maybe this queen of earth. That's how some of you feel. And or it's with someone else or Leo feels like they need to put more energy, effort, time into themselves because the cycle has ended. Let's see what the cards say for career and finance. And we're going to... Um, Clarify over at the website. Career and finance. High Priestess. You have an idea. That's what we were talking about in the shells. There's an idea. There's a plan that you're keeping to your chest. You're not letting all your, you know, on your card show here. We have the page of water and the two of her. Yeah. So this says I've already had the idea that I want to have change maybe in my career and or my finances um and right now you you're emotional about maybe this change maybe you've even had a talk there might even be wavering emotions sur surrounding maybe um putting yourself in two different things deciding in regards to two very real options here what I'm hearing is do I go back to or do I stay where I am it's what this decision because these are two cards has your have you it has your emotions you know high here at the page of water um, you may even get some insight spiritually um, prayer about which way to go um, a career or finance um, may help here um, it talks about you instinctually and intuitively knowing which way to go but you are praying about it you are trying to be spiritual about this that's a, it's a great thing um, because you have two very real options uh, there may even be a business deal that you don't know if it's going to be favorable for you. Some of you in career and finance, you have a Piscean person that you are either giving money to. Um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, you don't know if you should keep doing this. You don't know where it will get you. Okay. Let's see for health, wealth, and well-being. Health, wealth, and well-being. What do we have? The seven of Earth. Yes. Uh, assessing, reevaluating, looking at um, some things you've done in the past. Maybe how you can go forward and make changes. Maybe you're just thinking about how to cultivate better health, money, and physical health. Physical health. Um, 
Maybe some good news coming in also. Some money news or baby news. It doesn't have to be here. Um, let's see. Health, wealth, and well being. Three of fire. Yes. So you know that you need to get active or you have been active about, you know, better health. Um, you just really, some of you have been working out or you've been wanting to work out. Uh, or some of you have been working out. Yeah, messenger of water. Also, some of you are looking to the past. Some situation is disturbing your uh, your mental state. You're wondering about a person from the past. There is no communication. You're wondering if you should communicate or will they. You want to be like the messenger of water and um, maybe offer some type of emotional um, you want to make some emotional offer here. But um, you're not sure. Because there was maybe you guys are distant. You are not talking. You're evaluating the situation from afar and so are they. It's playing with your health, wealth, <laughs> and your mental state. Um... You're de dealing with so many different things right now. Also, some of you just in regards to um, whatever you're doing in regards to health, you're going to have victory here. So that's good. It's going to come out positive. Uh, you made some lifestyle change. Some of you are going to counseling. Or you need to go is making the difference there let's get some butterfly oracle cards in here to close out the reading what should leo be focused on moving forward Okay, the bottom of the deck, new exercise program. And we talked about that. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Looks like some of you are seeing some results of that. Maybe a lifestyle change here. So that's good. Uh, let me go ahead and shuffle these. Let's get some angel answers in here also. New exercise. And it's still the first month of the year. So everybody's still on their whole new, new year's resolution kick so that's really good and uh, stay with it stay with it congratulations to those who are seeing results that they want to see and those who are just starting um stay with it positive vibes sit to you okay okay let's see angel answers for you and tell leo okay uh wow forgiveness I think for some of you, it's like somebody you want to talk to here in the bot top and bottom row, there's no communication with a particular person, but you want to maybe offer forgiveness or you want to, you want to ask for forgiveness or you, um, you want them to forgive you. So there we are. Okay. Butterfly work. Well, seeking and finding. Nice. Changing your mind. Yeah, we saw that in regards to assessing where you are, feeling like you're not on the right path. For some of you, it is going to be an abrupt change with the page of wands popping out off camera several times for you. Seek it and find it. Doing the research in regards to making a, a move. Uh, the two of Earth weighing up two very real options. That's in re uh, Weighing up is doing the research um, about the two very real options what you are seeking um 
you will find and what you're seeking is seeking you also so seeking and finding okay changing your mind is something we do and when we feel differently we talked about feelings and emotions in the beginning your feel your emotions feel different in regards to maybe some dynamics some uh in career and finance so you're changing your mind about um, how you feel there in love or career and finance let's see ask for help from others this is so especially with this career and finance and weighing up options here uh, choose a new direction we have the pay we got two pages here so it's like messages of oh yeah you know my stability may be somewhere else messages of how i feel about doing something somewhere else choose a new direction remain positive that's beautiful um, and i think i just said that positive vibes for you guys um for those who have instituted changes within their lives uh leo this is a really solid reading um we're going to clarify over at my website always keep in mind it's one dollar 75 cent to get um more clarity about your situation if you feel like this reading is resonating with you thus far uh the link is below if you want to take advantage of that one dollar 75 cents gets you the extended reading um go over to my website book your own personal reading where we can pull your energy and be very specific about your life um the website the web address is below also take advantage of coupon code one zero o f f three five that's ten off thirty five ten dollars off any reading thirty five dollars or more um leo i think this is um, a very positive reading what i am now instituting is one additional card at the end of every reading um that gives leo uh, something to to um, go off of something to work on uh homework so when we come back in february we will um pick up with this card we'll see where we are maybe for the year you know i don't know i just feel like you can't keep listening to these readings month after month year after year and you've made no significant change in yourself and in your life this is for not just uh, for you to spy and see if somebody's cheating on you or whatever but this is to, for betterment like better yourself i remember when i first got into tarot years ago i think back to where i was and to where i am now in regards to you know emotional mental physical um health it should be better it, it is much better so here's your card flipped out wow nice card the Empress. Okay, this is what you should be focused on. The Empress speaks about. Uh, she's a three card, so she thinks she speaks of creation, what you're creating, what you're manifesting. The Emperor comes after the High Priestess. You have the High Priestess, the plan, the thought, the well thought out plan. I'm not taking any action right now. I'm holding my cards to my chest, knowing that. I'm then going to start to make moves, movement around myself to create what would be the next card, the Emperor. Hopefully we see the Emperor next month for you. So think about what you're creating for yourself. This is in love. This is in career and finance and your family. What are you creating? Um, are you being a prima donna in your life? Are you um, cultivating goodness and um, creating? that out of nothing keep in mind the emperor sits in on a throne in the midst of will of the wilderness um, she's able to create the life she wants um essentially out of nothing the queens have been appointed to that position they've been married into that position they sit on a throne made just for them the empress built her own throne in the midst of wilderness okay so keep that in mind it's a beautiful card to end with all right the empress guys all right take care know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well i hope to um see some of you or hear from some of you in private readings um i'll talk to you guys in february